Hey Audrey, good morning. So here we are at 179 Oxford. Just gonna take a step back real quick and we'll make our way on in. So as we start on off, kind of see just a little bit of the surrounding area. This is right by my alma mater, Canisius College. Um, so this is a bit of a um, biased area for me. I love it. So let's head on in, check it on out. So as we come on up, we're first off going to, I'm guessing there's going to be two entrances maybe. Let's head on in, see what we can find. Okay. As we come up, looks like we're going to have a laminate floor. Appears to be in good condition. Vinyl windows, definitely good. Tar paper outside. Very nice. Closet. You do have hardwood floor underneath all this. If you ever wanted to refinish it, a couple nice French doors going in. Some really nice inlay in the hardwood here. You know, uh, these floors, they're nice now. They'd be absolutely beautiful. Um, you know, resanded and brought back. So, anyway, let's check it on out. We do have some more vinyl windows inside of the French doors looking down. Here we are, so as we come on in, you're gonna see, looks like we have a bedroom over there. Beautiful kitchen. This would be, I guess, the dining room right here, more of that inlay. Uh, you do have the vinyl windows as well. Nice ceiling. I see the furnace is up there. Looks like we have a couple of the registers. So let's go on in towards bedroom number one. Take a look. Okay, so not a bad size bedroom. This door, I believe, is just gonna head on out. Yep, I'm just gonna go right back on out. So typically, especially on a new build, you could not count this as a room because there's no closet. However, we have to go off of the tax records reflect, and I do think this is gonna be a bedroom. When houses were you know, built back in early 1900s, even up to the mid 1900s, Probably up to the 1970s, you'd be surprised a lot of them did not have closets. So, therefore, um, on older homes, they, they most likely will allow that to be considered an extra bedroom. So, um, looks like a really nice granite countertop, new cabinets, recessed lighting with a fan, drop down lights, okay, nice marble um, floor tiles, refrigerator stove, overhead exhaust. More vinyl windows. Wow. Neighbors back part of their house right there. Looks like it's in need of some serious work, so. Alright. Looking in the refrigerator, not bad at all. A couple uh punches, probably some drunk college kids at one point. Um, let's head on back here. So coming into the second bedroom. Um, this room does have a closet. So it looks like vinyl windows throughout. So nice room. Um, I'd say the biggest thing you're gonna wanna do on this is probably a paint job, fan up top. Not bad at all though. So this is gonna be a very low, um, you know, in terms of maintenance and what's gonna be needed to get it up and running. So little built-ins right there. Coming in through, I'm guessing this is gonna be our bathroom. Yep. So as you open it up, that marble floor continues on in. I think that looks like a marble floor. Um, so as we come, nice bathroom, cool tile design, shower, nice tall ceilings. You have your overhead vent right there. Glass block uh, windows with a little screen window right there to open up. Toad appears to be good. Uh, no issues in here by the looks of it. Heading on into the third, final bedroom. Looks like it has a closet. Yep, very small, but nonetheless a closet. So again, vinyl windows, not bad at all. Uh, looking on to the side, I wonder where that goes, that must be the other bedroom. Um, so again, that's gonna be your neighbor over there. A little rough condition. So let's come on in here, take a look on out, and this is gonna take us out to that back area, it looks like. so. This would be the key to take us down to the other units. I think this is gonna lead us to the outside. 
Yep, to a nice little deck here, or sorry, a little patty. Yeah, nice little deck. Backyard, not bad at all. A little fire pit. Uh, it's wet, but kind of to be expected right now. Um, house next door is definitely uh, falling apart, literally. Um, anyway, you can kind of see the area. A lot of nice backyards. It's definitely starting to do some work over in this area. Um, really trying to, you know, fix it up and whatnot. Um, again, very close to Madai, walkable to Madai, walkable to Canisius. Um, Buff State, you're right in the bus line. You're only a couple, or maybe a mile or so from Buff State, but nonetheless, um, you know, yeah, I don't know if that'd really be a walking distance. You're more going to attract Madai students here um, as well as Canisius student, which are both private schools uh you know they have money so people can Ooh, hold on a sec there we go okay let's head on up to the attic real quick see what we got up here appears to be dry newer roof you can see right there it was a full tear off and they did it last so attic is an attic okay so yeah, the attic, I mean, it's, you know, rough. It's not bad by any means. Um, you do see some of the floor missing up here. Pretty much a basic attic. You can watch my step. They did blow an insulation down there, you can see, which is always good. Nice Goodman furnace. I see no issues with this. So that was, I was showing you the, the registers above. That's going to be coming from there. So, looks like they took all this stuff out to... Bury the pipes. Okay. Yeah, so not uh, not bad. I'm gonna watch my step here. We're gonna head on down now, check out the other unit. We'll go in the basement. Oh, okay, soft spot right there. Thought I saw my life flash before my eyes. So, nice roof, architectural. Um, looks to be definitely newer. I wouldn't say any more than three to five years by the looks of it right there. down coming out of the attic let's head on out to the down to the first floor see if we can get in if not we'll go to the basement then go up and down and back into the other unit there might be a separate entrance not really sure which looks like that is the entrance so this might be the only door let me Quick, let's see if we can get this unlocked. Okay, so that's gonna have to be the combo. All right, we're gonna head down to the basement real quick, see what we can see down here, and I'm gonna figure out that other unit. So, coming down in the basement. As always, first thing, nice and bright down here. Sump pump, basement, stone wall, looks to be good. I see very minor moisture. However, it's all got that trough system, so nothing I'm too concerned about. Some PEX plumbing, some old galvanized. So this is a Goodman furnace as well. I can't imagine it's over five, 10 years. Definitely has some life left in it. So as we come on over, pretty straightforward, I think, for what I would expect for a basement. Walls appear to be good. You can see they've done some work down here. I don't know if that was putting in drain tile or refixing the plumbing. As you can see, you do have the new um, PVC piping over there. I'm trying to see where... Okay, we got panels, electric boxes over there. So, oh my gosh, that's a solid piece of concrete right there. Interesting. Yeah, so it looks like they dug that up. Probably redid the, uh, the plumbing in here out to the sewers and whatnot. So, hot water tank looks good, 2019. You just have some basic storage in down here. So, you know, probably worth just getting on Craigslist or something, paying someone to come in here and clean this basement up. Um, just again to get it um, clean, you know, doesn't doesn't have an odor down here or anything. 
Obviously, there's a little bit of moisture right there. Nothing really too much of concern to me. Updated panels right there. Looks to be 100 amp breakers, two of them. New service cables, looking good. Washer dryer, glass blocks throughout. All right. We're gonna head back on upstairs. I think I'm gonna have to go out the front and uh, try to get us in here because this is not working. Let me just knock real quick. Okay, I'm just gonna head up and go in on the other way. All right, so quick again, recap. Nice kitchen, really nothing needs to be done in here. Living room, I mean, in all honesty, uh, except maybe a couple of the rooms getting a minor paint job, there's really no work that needs to be done up in this unit at all, so. Fireplace, coming back on out the French doors, remember that was a bedroom right there. Little closet. Probably was at one point a door right there that you got on the porch. They closed that off, put a window in. Now I'm gonna have to go on the other side. Hope we can get ourselves in. for door this is front door so lower apartment this must be over here let's see if we can up oh. right in front of my eyes there's the other door so this should get us in so let's head on around a little parking spot for the car uh, not much of a driveway a little parking pad and I guess you could probably get away with using that one as well I think that house is actually vacant um, Maybe someone's living there, but definitely has some age to it. So let's head on over. Check out the lower unit. House next door. You can see they're slowly fixing up. We need some repair on the windows and whatnot. I put up some plywood. Let's head ourselves on in. I'm locking myself out. Okay. Hello. So this is going to be, oh wow, very nice. This is going to be the occupied unit downstairs. All right. Very nice. So as you come on in here, looks like you have your, oh, that's actually going to be an alarm system for here. So all right, let's take a quick look at the windows. So newer vinyl windows here, looking good. Fresh paint, it's not fresh paint, but it's nicely um, painted, you know, in terms of being newer, I guess. So one of the vents, the floor, it's gonna be a uh, LVT, luxury um, vinyl plank flooring. So we come on into one of the bedrooms here. Turn the light real quick. Our floor continues on into here which point it looks like we have our closets over there. It's kind of tough to get in here. Yep, definitely. I'm not sure what that's doing right there. Should be able to take that down though. So not bad, not bad, not bad. Coming out to the dining room, you can see we have the paneling on the ceiling again. Um, so I'm guessing it's gonna be hardwood floor underneath here. This goes back to that marble floor in the kitchen. Nice granite countertop, long countertop, nice space here, good cabinets. So this is not you know as new as the other, but still um, would show very well, show as a newer uh, updated kitchen, absolutely. No issues there. So this has just, I guess, kind of a more of an open feel um, to it than the other one did, so, than the upstairs unit did. Coming on into the other units. Here we are, closet. Okay. 
Got an overhead fan. This looks to be the spare bedroom. And then we're coming on into what appears to be our bathroom. So, a little separation in the sink. Not a big deal. Um, you know, small fix. Floor continues on to that uh, marble tile. Here we are in the bathroom, very similar to the other one. Upstairs. Coming on into our third bedroom. Here we are. This will be the kids' room. Let's see what we have in here. Make sure nothing jumps out at me. Nice tight packed closet. So bedroom. Let's see if the windows are looking like here. Okay, so we have vinyl windows. Nice. Oh, all right, so it appears we have a family in here. Um, and then we have our kitchen. So quick recap, we have three bedrooms, bathroom, dining room, big living room. Bedroom number one there, that's the bathroom. This is bedroom number two. As we come on out to bedroom number three. So two three bedroom units, um, nice. I don't see much work that really needs to be done in either of these. Um, you know, some minor cosmetic stuff, but again, the windows, the big ticket items seem to have been replaced. The furnaces look good. Floors look to be good. You know, you have a couple of sinking tiles, but again, it's a rental. I wouldn't worry just about that at all, but I'm a nitpicker, so that's why I'm pointing that out. Dishwasher. Let's see what we have out the back door, and we will make our way on out. So this is the door that I came down to go to the basement. As you can see, looks like you have some concrete out there, some stamped concrete, um, little grill backyard, not fenced in on the back side it is, but not on either of the sides. Look to be open. Screened in porch area, or I'm sorry, um, shaded porch area right there, not screened in. Covered, I should say. All right, so that is going to do it for 179 Oxford. So again, asking price on this is 265. Um, it looks like currently in rents they're bringing in 1250. Not sure about the other units. Um, we'll check it on out, but I see probably about the same price for both of these. So I'd say you're right around that 25, 26. I think 27 would be pushing it for combined, um, you know, rental income and whatnot. As we come on out, we will follow out here, walk up, and then I'll get off and make our way on to Edson. So you can see they're definitely starting to put some work into this new new fence um, railing. I'm sorry, wood railing, new flooring in there. Roof's not too bad. How you doing, sir? Good, man. Just finishing up here. And are you showing it to him, or um, are you here to look at it? Okay, so you guys are good. Yeah, we're good. All right, we're gonna put this away then. All right, Audrey. So that's gonna finish it up here. We're gonna head on over to Edson. I will get these videos over to you. Give me a bit. Um, talk to you soon. Bye.